Welcome to MindView 5 Business Edition. MindView 5 uses the Microsoft Office 2013 style interface. This helps new users feel at home when working in MindView. The tab-driven system across the top has the most frequently used tools within the program. On the right side of the screen you have individual tabs for accessing more advanced features such as task and timeline information, utilizing the pre-populated multimedia catalog, as well as using the calculation module. Each individual tab and dialog allows MindView users to find specific features when they need them most. When designing the mind map, MindView 5 comes with six new map styles. If we look under the design tab, you get a quick preview of the standard styles loaded in the software. As I hover each individual thumbnail, you get a live update down below. MindView 5 still maintains several styles located in prior versions of MindView and even includes a custom style designer allowing you to create, edit, or utilize an existing style. MindView 5 still allows you to view the mind map in several different layouts. The mind map view, our left to right view, right to left, org chart, and even top down or WBS. There are also several unique views under the View tab that allow you to view the mind map in different formats, such as a timeline, outline, and Gantt chart. MindView's outline view has always been a popular way to get a linear overview of the mind map. The outline view has now been optimized to include its own outline tools tab. This tab allows you to associate new branches, indent or outdent topics, easily attach multimedia content, show and hide text notes directly in the outline view, turn on or off specific desired columns, and even increase or decrease font sizes. A great new feature in MindView 5 is the ability to associate citation and bibliography information. Mind mapping has always been a great research tool, and now users can associate text note information and directly cite the source of where they receive that content by utilizing the citation dropdown, choosing to manage sources. Users can easily add sources by choosing the add new icon. Here they can choose to enter a title, author, or ISBN number. Choose the search button and the WorldCat engine will populate this list with all the relative search hits. Users can then browse for their desired topic, choose the select button, and simply hit OK. MindView then lists that information directly in the sources dialog. To insert that particular citation information, the user types it in the text note chooses to then insert the citation, selects the source from the source catalog, enters the page number, and simply chooses insert. This information is now populated and stored within the MindView interface. When MindView users choose to export the MindView document to Microsoft Word, this citation and bibliography information is carried over automatically. By choosing the export wizard, Users can choose from several predefined Microsoft Word style templates, and they can even choose standard citation styles such as APA, MLA, Chicago, Harvard, and more. In this example, I'll choose the APA style. I'll simply hit Export. As you can see, MindView has not only created the document, it has even created the unique heading style relative to APA format with the running head, the title, author, and subject, an overview of the mind map, the table of contents, and as you can see it's even created a unique references link. The referencing link lists the individual citation information we included on that specific topic. When viewing that individual branch in the word export you can see the citation text was created and the citation content is formatted directly within the document itself. Attaching multimedia content to branches has always been an advantage in using MindView. We've now made it so when users attach Microsoft Office files such as Excel spreadsheets or Word documents, those files are then embedded in the Microsoft export. 
in this example we'll export to Word and show how this attached file will then be embedded within the Word document. You follow the same parameters by choosing the File drop-down, select Export, and choose Microsoft Word and hit the Advanced Word Export. Under the Attached Objects, all the user has to do is choose to Embed Attached Files and simply hit Export. When reviewing the Microsoft Word document, you can see that that attached file has now been embedded in that specific branch or section. A simple double left click will then launch the attached object. MindView 5 includes a powerful new feature called Legend. The legend allows you to use document color schemes and icons to associate different branches with specific topics. By showing the legend, you can see that this particular mind map has the color schemes blue, red, green, and purple associated with different teams. The icons 1 and 2 are associated with priorities. You can easily add individual items, choosing to add a color or icon, picking from a desired colored scheme or icon library, and then simply giving it a label name. This allows you to further enhance the understanding of the mind map and its topics. Overviewing a large and detailed mind map with many branches can sometimes be a burden. The new Map Nav pin allows you to simply click on a branch, choose Map Nav, and choose to add a pin. Adding a pin will visualize a nav pin on the branch itself, and then users can easily go back to the Map Nav dropdown and quickly navigate to specific branches. This helps users to find the specific branches they need to discuss at that point in time during a meeting. To assist users in reviewing the content included within a MindView mind map, MindView 5 now includes Document Statistics under the Review tab. Selecting the Document Statistics button will list the individual word counts for the selection or the totals within the document itself. Users can also simply click on a branch and choose the new Narrate function, and it will be able to allow MindView to read the document, text notes, comments, and information allowed to the user.